Okay, guys, let's jump straight in with the uh, Vidal Riley, or also known as the Fabio Wardley versus Fraser Clark card. Let's jump straight into it. Okay, so what happened last night is the question you are asking. Not really, but maybe you are. So what happened last night? I didn't get to see this fight. I didn't get to see, I didn't get to see Callum Simpson's fight. I saw Vidal's fight. Uh, I didn't get to see Ben Whitaker's fight. I saw the round three onwards of the Chris Congo fight. And then the Wardley vs. Freighter Clark, I saw round two onwards, or I saw, no, round, yeah, I saw from round two. Now, what did I think about this? First off, I'm gonna start with the Sky Sports team. The Sky Sports team was shit last night. It was the worst commentary I've ever heard in my life. And the whole Sky Sports team, it, it was awful. It was awful. Chris Congo, uh, I like how they say superb win over Marku. It wasn't superb. It really wasn't like super impressive. Like the Sky Sports team, it was like the Vidal Riley fight, but with a little bit more action. My issue with them was they discredited Vidal Riley's win. Like the whole time they were like, this isn't a good fight. This was boring, you know? That was boxing. What that was last night, that was boxing. But Dan Riley took his time, timed his shots. He was patient. He didn't try and go in there and he didn't go in there and try and knock out the power puncher. But Dan Riley, the boxer, went out there and boxed, outboxed, outclassed his opponent. So all these Sky Sports teams and all that, these guys definitely sit there and go, "I love knockouts," which boxing has nothing to do with knockouts. If you look at boxing as a whole. Knockouts basically mean someone who is unfit, someone who hasn't really got a chin, and someone who is a completely different class level to someone else. Vidal Riley took his time. Even Vidal said he got caught to the body and he went, I don't want to get hit by that again. So that's why he kept moving with his shots. And Vidal worked very well. I was very impressed with Vidal's work. But the fact that Sky Sports completely discredited the win. Not one of them. I mean, Natasha Jonas, come on, you're a boxer. You should understand if someone is a power puncher and you're a boxer, you're going to want to keep your distance. You're not going to want to try and stand in the pocket with them and trade because all they got to do is land that one lucky shot and it's over. So I don't know. Maybe they're just sitting there going, Vidal Riley is a YouTube guy and they're just, dis I don't know. They've, they've done this before to Vidal. They just discredit his wins. Um, Sky Sports are the most disrespectful people um, out there. I don't know why. They're a piece of shit. Um, ben Whitaker, crowd didn't get to see that one. Um, I've seen clips of it, of him showboating, as he does. It's very cool. I enjoy it. I used to hate it, but I actually really enjoy it. Ben Whitaker, he's earned the right to do it, so let him do it. Also, it makes it more entertaining. Like... Yes, boxing is a skill fight. It's I, I hate the rule of I hate the thing that is hit and don't get hit. It's such a stupid thing because you're gonna get hit no matter what. Boxing is it, it's 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 like a dance, as people would say. Boxing's a dance. You need a dance partner. It is like a dance because you have to know what to do with rhythm. But anyways, moving on from the Vidal rally fight. Moving on from. Sky Sports a ship thing. Um, Chris Congo, as I said, it was like the Vidal fight, just with a bit more action. Uh, Marku 100% um, was trying to knock out Chris Congo. You could tell. Um, I can't say I was like, oh, this was, like, it was... These... All these fights that I watched, the fights that I actually watched were good. I enjoyed them. It's... It was a lot more skillful boxing. It wasn't, I'm trying to kill you. Obviously, you had two fighters that were trying to go out there and win by knockout. Well, three, because Wardley tried to do the same. Wardley dropped Clark once, and then Clark got a, a, a point deducted. Because Clark landed uh, three very low shots. Now, I didn't see all three. I saw one. And I was like, okay, that's a point for that. When Wardley was not only holding Clark's head down, but also punching him in the back of the head. And it's like, okay, okay. So, ref wasn't amazing last night. I wasn't like, oh, this is 
This is sick. This is great. Uh, the judging, the decision of a draw, I agree with. If I had to give it to someone, Wardley. Easily. Wardley easily, I believe. I believe Wardley didn't do too much, but I feel like Wardley stole the rounds of how, like, he had the pressure. He was lad in the power shots. He was timing his shots. The thing with Fraser Clark was he'd land a shot and Wardley be up against the, the uh, ropes. And you could see Wardley was gassed. And Fraser Clark land like one or two shots and you could see Wardley's head going. But you couldn't tell if Wardley was hurt because Wardley would do the same moves when he was hurt and when he wasn't hurt. Like he'd always duck down so low and it looked like he was hurt, but wasn't hurt. But Fraser Clark at one point had Wardley up against the ropes, landed two shots, stared at him for a second, and then went in and clinched. It's like, bro, you didn't have to do that. You you had the time to step back, see if he's going to do anything. He was just standing there like this. Fraser Clark should have just timed something and then gone in with, I don't know, a right hand maybe, an uppercut, because Clark just kept going for, a clock, um, for an uppercut the whole fight. That just didn't land as flush it never landed flush so um there was a lot of issues there from both guys i feel like wardley just won each exchange he would count a punch he would yeah i i just felt like wardley was winning all the exchanges at the end and then at the end of each round wardley would throw like a flurry of punches like he would be gassed for out that whole round and then right at the end he'd throw a flurry of punches to be fair if this was MMA, we'd be basing it off a of damage. Clark should have won at least like four rounds off a of damage. So, but Woodley obviously got the uh, knockdown, the point deduction, which made the fight, well, according to the scorecards, a draw. So, if you're saying that the knockdown and point deduction didn't happen, you're saying Clark won. I st I don't think Fraser Clark won that fight. I honestly do not believe Fraser Clark won that fight. And I, I predicted Fraser Clark would win, but I did not have him win in that fight. I'd say it would either be a draw. I'm happy with a draw. I'm fine with the draw. But I wouldn't be upset if Woodley won. If Clark won, I'd be like, okay. No, he, he shouldn't have won that. He, he, I don't believe it was as close as people think it was. But that doesn't mean it's not close. But yeah. Callum Simpson, I didn't get to see that fight. And yeah, as I said, Ben Whitaker, I didn't really get to see much of that fight. But guys, that's just my thoughts, just my opinions. What do you guys think? Did you watch the fights? Did you enjoy the fights? Uh, what's your thoughts and opinions on the fights if you watched it? And what was your thoughts on the Sky Sports team? Were they terrible? I believe they were terrible last night. Uh, but that's all I got. Have a nap. Have a enjoy. Take care. Peace. <laughs>